Chief Magnus had a covenant with the devil. Unfortunately, he died in a ghastly motor accident and his family couldn't keep to the covenant. The devil in retaliation began to take their lives untimely. Four persons have gone and now it is the turn of blessing. But will she go like the others or will she be delivered? Okay, thank you. Um, I'll take it from here. Okay, I'll do so. Yeah, it's from here. Uh, let's see. This tumor seems rather aggressive. Um, it usually takes three to five years to develop, and at the rate at which it's going, it's quite shocking. Doctor, please tell me. Is there any hope for me at all? Yeah, there is hope, but, um, well, the only option we have since the tumor has gone to this level is for you to start your chemotherapy. And I'll also tell you you should um, get your house ready and make peace with your God. Doctor, am I just, just go straight to the point. Am I going to die? No, 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 no. Please be calm. You're not going to die. We will take care of you as quickly as possible. Everything is under control. You don't have to worry. I assure you, with faith, you will be all right. Hello. 
Ano gym mo? What part of I am no longer interested? Don't you understand? I need a fresh start. Can you stop calling my name? I am done. It's over between us. I am no longer interested. What don't you understand is that simple English. I beg you in the name of God, don't dial my number again. Yes, it's fine. Let's go on that link. Professionalism and medical experience, I've not seen a thing like this. Seeing what? What are you talking about? You're getting me confused. Hmm. Medical science cannot explain this transformation. Doctor, explain what? My dear, you're a lucky girl. Your test was done repeatedly and um, you are cancer free. Huh? Did I? Ah! You are cancer free. You are cancer free. Actually, we can't find the trace of the tumor. Ah, come on, take it. Take it. Get it. 
Yes. 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 Please, if you will excuse me, I have an emergency patient to attack you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, you Walk up and down. Where you did? Why you good slap? You know, they when this is up now. You know, they did now. Wait for them. For now, for you and your baby now. For how you and girl go now. Guy, when you not there, when you not there, you know they. I don't laugh now. Why they laugh now? See, the baby, they tell me. Unbelief, I do this. Unbelief, I do that. I cannot do things with people. I don't believe. Guy, I be an unbeliever. Since since when I don't they cap you? See me leave that bunny. Don't they stress that girl? She's not like other girls that you see on the streets. Eh? This girl that carry all this born again, born again, born again, all this born again, born again thing. Guy, if you need to be a church member, guy, she no fit give you, she no fit give you space, she no fit give you what you want. What? She no fit give you what you want. But but see you, see you. Hey guy, I get plans like this. Ah, na, ah, na. See, you be born. Let's go, let's go. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, now my young people, let's go. Now, there's just two things you have to do. What? First of all. Just attend that church. Secondly, they give them those small, small scriptures, those biblical scriptures. Ah, ah. 
See the she go for. Bad girl. Ah, she go for. So wait, 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 wait. So you just say, like that. Just like that. Wait, so, uh, so you say, game. You say if you want, you want follow the do this bunny game, bunny game. You want you love. Want follow the act, act. <laughs> nah, this your love self don't they too. The guy don't they nah, love. Boy. See, don't they come. wait. Don't love. See that girl aspect. Speck. I don't need to observe. Now, speck, bro. She not be <laughs> your... Fine. Not be the kind... The guy don't they love. I'm going to leave her for me like that. If I like this now. Like this now, I'm going to show you, understand? Now, who will take one of... Ah. Eh? Yeah? Come on, snap picture. I, 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 I follow you, they do TikTok. You're going to slap me. You don't need to go to church. I need to go to church like this now. Nah. Ah. When you're... When a person has their on fire, you understand? You cannot be chasing a rat. Now, nah, because of woman, I ain't this guy. Where are now? Nah, bro. Nah. Hello. Hello, my dear. How are you doing? <laughs> Funny how I always run into you each time I'm thinking about you. I know it's as if the Spirit of the Lord is ministering that this thing I'm asking for you is that, you know, you are going to give it to me, my dear. <sighs> how many times or how do you want me to thank you that I am not interested to be your girlfriend? Or are you waiting for an insult before you know how serious I am? See, this thing you're always talking about unbeliever. It's not as if I'm an unbeliever. You understand? It's not as if I'm even asking you out. When I, the only reason I stopped you here is to tell you that I love the way you sound, like you sound so melodiously and so beautiful. In fact, your voice suited that song perfectly. You sang it better than the gospel artist that owns the song. Wow. Are you now stalking me? <laughs> like, how do you know I sing? I know now. I, okay, for example, now, when I stopped you the other day, you thought I wanted to ask you out of it. No, that's not what happened. What happened was I wanted to know if our church sisters now prefer dating unbelievers, you understand? So it's that's that man, unbeliever. Well, yeah. Okay, check now. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. What does it say? Okay. Not unbelievers! Hey, you're in the spirit, my dear. So that's it. It's not as if I'm an unbeliever. I'm not an unbeliever. You understand? Actually, I'm on my way to fellowship. I would have, I would have invited you, but looking at the time before you go and prepare, you understand? You know, now that I'm serious with the things of the kingdom, you understand? So, my dear sister, I'll see you later. Okay? Yeah, take care. And don't forget to pray. What just happened? <laughs> Oh. Ah. Hello. Hey, um, are you in this area? My sister in the Lord. <laughs> ah, you live here? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, uh, there's one of my friends also, you know, yeah. something like that. Really? Mm. If I knew you were here, I believe it's just right. So just come out and shop in your house. You know. Okay, just so like you pass in as a believer. Thank you, my dear. Ah, that. thank you, my dear. God bless you. God bless you, my dear. Uh, okay, that yeah. reminds me. Yeah. No. I was wondering if you actually felt the scriptures, those few scriptures you put there, yeah. actually, you know, got to me. Because, you know, the devil actually proved the scripture. And if you doubt, you can also check Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 to 11. Yeah, you can check that. Okay, just asking, what's with you, Simon? Why? What's going on? Why are you preaching? What's going on? <laughs> You see, when I said I don't want to have anything to do with unbelievers, it includes those Christians that claim to be born again, but they don't even love the things of God. You know, <laughs> I would have actually fallen for those scriptures and the drama you displayed the other time. But the love of God in me constrains me from doing evil. Anyway, since you claim to be born again, I leave you with Genesis 39. Have a nice yeah, let me tell you something. Wait, let me tell you something. Okay. The book of Hebrews chapter 11 okay. has taught me how to manifest faith. <laughs> and I have faith that I'm going to get what I'm asking from you. <laughs> yes. Oh, you feel the little knowledge of the few memorized scripture could actually get to me. You know, it's people like you that go about spoiling Christianity and deceiving young ladies. You're not even far from those Jesus referred to as wolves in sheep clothing. You see, in um, Matthew chapter 7, 
from verse 15 and 20. It actually says, by their fruit you shall know them. And obviously, your your logo area, obviously. Okay. I get it. You win. But the thing is, you're actually a very nice person. And you're a beautiful lady. Can't we just be friends? <laughs> you know, uh, Matthew chapter 12 from verse 50 will give you my answer. Mm. Okay. Um, so just hold on a minute. I I just couldn't help but notice the fact that at least you weren't rude or saucy. You calm. Your whole disposition towards the whole thing was very impressive. Like <sighs> someone else might probably insulted me. All in the name of Christianity. Uh, and all you're right. You know, but Matthew six verse thirty three actually gave me the template to respond to people like you. Yeah. In Colossians four, from verse five to six. You know, it will actually help you and direct your, your paths in the way of the Lord. Feel the little knowledge you have of the few memorized scripture could actually get to me. You know, it's people like you that actually go about spoiling Christianity and deceiving young ladies. You are not even far from the people Jesus described as wolves in sheep clothing. In Matthew 7, from verse 15 and 20, it also said, by their fruit you shall know them. And obviously, that you, 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 in fact, you, you see me in church, you don't say hi to me, and then you see me on the street, you say hi and call me baby. My advice for you is hidden in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. When you follow the right way of the Lord, at the right time, He will give you a woman of your choice. And you know, when you follow the right path of the Lord, He will actually give you that wisdom. And you can check out James chapter 1, verse 5. He will give you that wisdom. I pray the Lord help you. God